is uh, Monday, February the 6th, and I'm coming at you with two different um, unboxings. Uh, one of them is an eBay purchase that I got, and the second one is <clears throat> from a box that I got from uh, HW Diecast 209 on Instagram and uh, YouTube, and this is more... <clears throat> This is more of a um, re okay, but you know it's gonna end up being a return fire because uh, Steve talked to me about uh, sending a couple of cars, and one of them being a loose 18 van, if I'm not mistaken. But um, this clearly is bigger than that, so we're gonna get into that in just a moment. But this right here is an eBay purchase that I did on uh, Thursday of last week. Sorry, Tuesday of last week, and it got there. Uh, we got here today, and forgive me if I get sparkles. My daughter um, has been playing with sparkles, and um, they're all over my little makeshift area for recording diecast today. And I'm adjusting the light too because it's kind of dark, and I'm working with the light here. So, without further ado, we're gonna cut right into this. Kind of disappointed that it didn't come in a box, but it's green light. The clamshell, which I hope um, didn't get damaged. So we'll take a look right now. So, I guess there's a little note here. Alright, so that's pretty cool. So, the eBayer told me, um, thank you for the bidding. And if I, um, if there's anything else I needed, he gave me his email address to send him a message. So, <clears throat> two green machines. They are actually in awesome condition. So, nothing got damaged in um, shipping. Yeah, nothing that damage in shipping. So the first piece is the Bullet Green Machine. This is the uh, 68 Ford Mustang GT with the green wheels and the green um, and the green base. I'm just see what number this is if it's serial numbered at all. Uh, no, it doesn't have a serial number at the bottom. It's getting harder to tell. But anyways, that's the Bullet Mustang Green Machine. I love getting the Mustang GT from uh, 68. So that's another one to add to the collection. Awesome. And to match up with it, I got... Oh, actually, the blister did get a little scrunched up at the bottom, but I think I can fix it. Otherwise, the car itself is mint, and so is the box. I got the uh, 1968 Dodge Charger RT. There's the green machine. And this one's just awesome because it has a green body. And it's got the white wall uh, tires. Looks very, very classy. So I'm digging that a lot. So two bullet green machines <clears throat> added to the collection today. And again, that's uh, from eBay. Had to pull the trigger on these two. Um, normally, <clears throat> they are pretty hard to find individually uh, at a good price. And I was actually pretty pumped to get two for what you normally would pay for just one. So that's that. And second, get again to the box now from Steve. Steve, thanks in advance. Um, you know, he's he's a cool dude. We talk we talk almost uh, almost daily through a group chat, and um, really excited to see what's in here. And he's known as the godfather of uh, M2. Dude's just killing it with some of the high end pieces, especially on the on the bigger scale, like the 124 scale. So um, curious to see actually what's in here. <coughs> Almost done. Woo! Just stab myself a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't bleed. So be careful when operating with a knife. <laughs> yeah, there's no blood. All right. So another thing you guys don't know about Steve, other than him being the godfather of diecast, immaculate packaging. And uh, this is just the first layer to protect everything. And then we've got some peanuts which I will undo in this bag here. Let's just move that over here right now. And then we'll get cracking. So just give me one moment guys. Oh cool cool. I think I see the Lucy's right here. Very very cool. Alright so this looks green. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, 
back. This is a Honda Civic. This is from the Boulevard series. Awesome. <laughs> Just have a piece of lint. This is badass. Love this uh, Mustang. I mean, love this Honda Civic. I got a loose display that's going to fit in into nicely. And we got another piece right here. Have a look. <clears throat> I actually went hunting just now. I just came back. I had to do a bunch of errands um, for my wife's, my, not my wife, sorry, for, for my wife, but for my daughter's birthday. Uh, that's in two days. And I had a chance to hit about five or six different Walmarts in total. Not a thing out there, man. Very, very dry out there. So reasons for that is why I don't mind, uh, especially during times like this where there's nothing out there. It's doing the eBay hauls. Um, Oh, no way. I just got this, um, wow, I just got this super carded, and he sent over the Camaro SS Special Edition. Yeah, the Camaro Special Edition, super treasure hunt. So sick. Oh, man. Let me see if I can get some lighting on that. <clears throat> Check it out, guys. Awesome, awesome piece. Wow. Thanks, Steve. This alone is already killer, man. That's that's awesome. And then we got... This one's a little bigger. <clears throat> wow. I'm still looking at that, uh, that Camaro treasure hunt. Let's take a look at it one more time. That thing's beastly. That's only my second... Uh, loose super in my collection and it happens to be a Camaro as well the other one that I think it's a 67 convertible that I have oh yeah this is one that this is the one that started the conversation and this is so awesome this is one one of the first retros out there um, I never actually found this one I ended up buying it at a swap meet uh, on card and I've been wanting to find a second one loose and this thing's heavy very very heavy and very well detailed. Oh my god. You know what? This is probably underrated or was probably underrated at the time that it came out. I think retros weren't as big as they were now. And it actually used to peg warm for a little while. And I just didn't uh, scoop them up when I should have. And that's just phenomenal. Wow. Such a heavy casting too. Okay, I want to put that right here. Just give me one second. Here. <clears throat> Killer, already. Oh man, already killing it with the three Lucy's there. All right, so let's uh, pack this away here. We got a few more pieces here. All right, let's have a look here. Might need a knife for this one here. One second, guys. This one's really well packed too. I'm gonna post probably a little in-store video later. Um, didn't find any chase pieces, but we started to get the Fast and the Furious cars in Canada, and I found a good deal on some uh, Ferraris and stuff. All right, so this is the next one here. There's two pieces in here, and what? That's the Bluebird 510. I don't even have this on card. And now I have a Lucy of it. This is so sick. This is so sick. So Steve is like killing it knowing the pieces that I'm into. He knows I'm into my JDM, the Camaros, the Civics. Definitely the Retro. And the next one here. Oh, no way. Don't have this one either. I don't think I have many. I don't think I have any Bluebirds on card. Much less uh, loose. Check that out. The black and the white. So cool, man. Thank you so much. Oh, this is the loose display, which to be honest, my loose display is, um, aside from the retros, it's not, um, it's not super, um, <clears throat> it's not super uh, full with amazing pieces like these. So these are going to go in really nice. And then we got two more pieces here. What is 
this. I think this one, did I end up getting this one? No, I didn't have this one. This is a Twin Peaks Celica. So sick. Check that out. Tampoed up the Pennzoil. Very, very cool. And I'm gonna see what the next one is right beside it. Oh man, nervous. Ah, oh, the white one. So sick. So there's a white. And the yellow Twins Peak Celicas. Thank you so much, man. I gotta find a way to photograph these side by side under some nice lighting. So, let's kill some bubble wrap here. Oh, man. Alright, so those are the seven pieces, and I believe there's one more here. Yeah, he's put it in a protecto. Steve, thank you. We don't get, we don't have this one in Canada. Actually, I just found um, the white Supra. Which I have over there, but this definitely hasn't hit. And there's the pink S2000 from the Fast and the Furious. And um, I'll tell you guys right now, what's weird about this is that... Um, actually, this is from a previous release, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually a previous release that we never got at all. I wonder if we're getting different... Uh, yeah, you know, this skipped Canada altogether, which is why I don't have the pink one. I was just going to say, the one that I found today has the white Supra, has the skyline all over again, but this never hit here. So this got skipped all together. So thank you so much, Steve. Definitely, definitely needed a Honda S2000. Oh, man. And the Fast and the Furious wave is just crazy. I think, I've, I, think I have the full um, first three sets that have come out. I think we're now onto the fourth set, and I just got one car um, out of it, which is a Supra. And I left a couple behind, but we're getting a weird assortment in Canada. So we get a case of 12. These come in cases of 12. And in this uh, specific wave, which I'll show you guys in the video that I have, we're only getting uh, four of the cars um, times four. So it was a Celica. Sorry, it was a Supra, the Ford Escort, the Subaru, and I can't remember what the fourth one was. But whatever the fourth one was, it was just four times four to make 12. Times, sorry, four times three to make 12. And it was kind of ridiculous that we wouldn't even get a full set in a little box. But anyways, it is what it is, so I'll probably eventually track it down. But thank you so much, Steve. Killing it here with the awesome pieces. Killing it, killing it, killing it. And, you know, we're going to chat later because this is just crazy. So thanks again, guys. Check them out. It's HWD Diecast 209 on um, HWC, sorry, uh, Diecast209 on Instagram, and I believe he's on YouTube too, but he doesn't make videos. Um, but thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.